symphony, her shoes come off. Mark is receiving the sound of partly to be quiet as I move from station to station. About a month when she was a child left her profoundly deaf. Less than 10% of sound gets through. But the percussionist says she hears just fine through vibrations, which explains the stuffy feet. Most people will actually hear things through the ear less than what they will feel through the body. A lesson that for this audience was initially difficult to believe. By looking at this, what do you imagine in your imagination this would sound like? I'm deaf, so I have no idea. The Scottish percussionist was recently in Winnipeg to perform with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra, and during a practice session, invited students and teachers from the deaf community on stage to try and hear the way she does. Do you think, by the shape of it, it's a lovely instrument? I to think I would think that when you hit it, it would kind of be like a bell. To Glennie, the body is one huge ear. So if I strike this, when it's louder, I can feel a connection. I can imagine what that what that would look like. It really inspires me. It goes throughout my body. That's what the Grammy Award winning artist is going for. So if you see someone with a white stick, you know, you just assume that you shut your eyes and that's what they're experiencing. Or deaf people, you cover your ears and you assume that's what only deaf people experience. That music can't get through. When I went to the audiologist at, at the hospital, um, he immediately said, right, you're no longer going to play music because you're deaf. And my father said, well, hold on a second. You know, an hour before she entered this room, she was playing music. And now you're saying an hour later, she can't play music. But Glenny can certainly play, and now this student believes he can too. I, I would love to become a drummer, and I'd love to feel that connection all the way down to their toes. Laura McNabb, Global News, Winnipeg. Mm -hmm.